Hey guys, back on Miana, my enchanter. And we are grind we were just grinding it out in unrest. We got a tell from our good friend Wolf Dart on one of his alts, which is a cleric level ten. So we think it would be fun for us, despite the fact the XP wouldn't be as good, it'd be more fun for us to try the chessboard in Butcher Block Mountains. So I am getting ready to get on my way over there. We'll do some charming and cleric healing. Should be a good combo. Hopefully we get some good XP out of it. But first, I gotta make the run through Dagner's Cauldron. But for me, it's much easier than it is for him because I have invisibility. The interesting thing I've noticed on this server, and I haven't been, I haven't done the run so many times, but when I did it on P99, there was a heck of a lot of undertow skeletons. They're like level 16 undead. And I haven't seen one the few times I've done the run thus far on this server. So I don't know why, but I guess that's good because I can just use invisibility and don't have to worry about the undead seeing me. Now, in this video, you might notice a lot of background sounds. That's because it's actually New Year's Eve here, according to the lunar calendar that China uses. So it's Chinese New Year's Eve. And you would ask why on such a festive occasion, such an important holiday for my family, am I sitting in a room alone playing video games? Well, it's because everyone's just yapping and around in Chinese, and the kids are just running around playing with each other, and uh, there's really not much for me to do, guys. So, hmm, poor me. I guess I just have to play EverQuest. Hello. <laughs> yes, I'm so sad about that. My good friend Kalmathar. Just got himself the Lord Camp. He's doing Lord, Lower Guck, Solo, and Necro. It's a bit dicey, but he says he's finally got the rhythm of it. He did um, Frenzy Lower Guck Solo and got himself a Flowing Black Silk Sash, the FBSS, for his Ranger. Now he's doing... Um, now he's doing the Lord Camp to try to get his Ranger some Short Swords of Yakesha. For those who don't know, those are some of the most coveted... Uh, coveted swords in the game because they have a stun proc apparently Miana's low on drink so we're gonna have to go buy some drink we're probably gonna have to sell too she's got a lot of crap on her jeez all of her bags are full got a ton of coin I don't know how she's not oh yes I do know how she's not encumbered it's because she's got the box of Al Kabor. That's why she's not encumbered. I'm tempted to throw up my um I'm tempted to let you guys see my spell uh counter and parse box because it really comes in use most on the enchanter. Um if you are playing an enchanter in a group especially, but also solo, I highly recommend getting some sort of uh spell counter checker because you're going to be mezzing and it's nice to be able to remez before the mez wears off but also not too early so that you're wasting mana so when i see that i watch it on there you got to set your level let me see if i can activate it um but i'm kind of in the middle of you know piloting this character here let's see if i can activate it on my OBS so you can see it um, plus uh, window capture spell okay there we go nope um, spells there we go all right let's move it over over here it's kind of where I got it let's blow it up a little bit it's gonna be hard for you to see but if you're paying it if you're paying attention I'm sure most of you are kind of listening in the background and occasionally paying attention but if you're really paying attention if you want to see how it works, just take a quick look. I'll make it a little, even a little bit bigger for those who are interested. And basically, it's gonna, it works on, unlike the buff bar you have, which also on this server has timers, this one will also keep track of the spells you cast on mobs. So then again, again, not then again, it works for your mezzes, your dots, 
Um, clerics, it's also very useful because it works for the buffs that you put on other people. So you can keep track of their buffs. It's actually really useful. I was using it on Sendrith the other day. You couldn't see it if you watched that video, but I was talking about it because um, my daring buff got down to about three minutes duration. So then I would use a daring buff as my next heal, which is a really cool little trick there. Instead of just, oh, the buff dropped, okay, I'll recast it at some arbitrary time. It works much better when you... Uh, I gotta find some drink. I'm low on drink. I think he can summon. I'm gonna ask him. Yep, bef before I could even ask, he told me. Yeah, so um, instead of just casting your buffs when your cleric has some arbitrary time, you can time it so that A, the, your char the character always has the buff up, and B, it'll heal for the amount of HP that that buff provides. So clerics have their HP AC buffs, right? So you can use it as a heal, and it's a pretty sizable heal. So it's like kind of like if you're just casting buffs at some arbitrary time when they drop or when somebody tells you they need it, that's an extra cast that if you're doing it this way, you convert that cast into a heal. So it's a little bit of extra mana efficiency is all. So little tips and tricks make the world go around. Oh, she doesn't speak to Dark Hills, much less sell to them. Well, we can... Um, we can change that, can't we, boys and girls? And anybody else who might be interested. Did I ever get my dwarf illusion? I did not, but I'm pretty sure she's cool with wood elves. Right? Let's be a wood elf. Apparently I'm a little low on the skill needed for this cast. What's it, conjuration? It looked like a conjuration spell. Okay. Oh, all of a sudden. Hello there. How do you do? I'm so glad you came to my shop. Oh, I even have Minotaur horns still. Alright, this character's not really hungry for money. So we're going to just sell pretty much everything. Anyway, this is the boring stuff. I'm going to pause it until we meet up with uh, Wolfdar and we get rocking. Alright, we're done selling and we are cruising for a bruising to the chessboard, which we are almost at. Ulysses is probably summoning us up some drink right now, but we're going to have to pick some up later. Luckily, I can turn into nearly any race I want, so I didn't get the Dwarf Illusion, and I don't know why. That would have been very useful, especially for turning in belts, but I'm already past that level anyway. Uh, we got a couple belts on us. Maybe we'll give them to Ulysses, this cleric here. Maybe we'll give them to somebody else. I kind of want to hold on to belts in case anybody wants to join the self-found challenge or even the hardcore challenge. Um, can give them to you to help you catch up to us. Now we got to find this guy. Where's this cleric? Human cleric should be here somewhere. It looks like someone's already killed a spawn. The undead pawns are he are up there should be another spawn like right here i want to say and back there there he is so i think he's already been working it a little bit solo do we have the king we got a bishop all right let's get ready to roll looking good got his nice red beard going on okay we're gonna need to charm that's for sure it's gonna be our it's the raisin detra for the cleric enchanter duo so let me see if I'm all prepared for that I guess I am now we're not gonna need our assist so I'm gonna put uh, hmm. And we're not going to need to break invis. It'll break naturally. We're going to try to keep the pet as long as possible. So I can put my color flux on spot number three. Give us a stun just in case it helps somehow. 
Um, let's see, I should also take the time to give myself my own buffs. And I might as well throw Ulysses a miss to see if he can take it. His AC buff might override it. Mine might be stronger at this point, though. He is, after all, only level 10. Oh, I just tried to cast Lester Shielding on him. I'm an idiot. Well, at least I got a level of Obduration out of it. There we go. Okay, we definitely need to have Root back up. And let's pull up Choke again. Because when we're full mana, that's really our most mana efficient way to contribute extra DPS. Is with our Choke Dot. We got decent mana. We could wait for more, but I think this should be pretty simple, easy charming. Although these Rooks, they're conning blue. I might be misremembering. I mean, the pawns. P99, undead pawn. I might be misremembering their their level. I thought it was. I was thinking it was eight. Looks like it's nine to twelve. So this could be a tough charm, but it's perfect for having a cleric. So we're gonna get ready to go. All right, here we go. We're gonna charm this guy over here. Mez, Tash, Charm. And if you look in my little buff box window that you can see, you can see the Mesmerize with 13 seconds left. Let's see how accurate it is. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Looks like it's got about a, sec a second or so of safety buffer that Mez actually wore off about a second later. Alright, looks like the cleric wants to get in there. So we're at 89% experience right now. Let's see what we crank it up to. Wow, Ulysses is barely even getting hurt. It's pretty nice. Okay, we went up 1%. Now here comes the tough part. Which is... These two are close enough to aggro. Bishop is a necromancer pawn. So we're gonna soothe the pawn. Grab the bishop. But the bishop has a pet. Uh oh. There we go. Well, Ulysses seems to be doing just fine. We'll be able to help him out in a second. Let's give him a color flux stun. Help mitigate some damage. That's about all we can do at the moment. Our pet should be coming around right about now. There we go. So I guess that one is a single pull. Interestingly enough, I thought they would... I remember soloing here before on P99 and having two aggro when I tried to, tried to do that particular spot. So, Ulysses, the human cleric. Not a bad choice, I guess. I'm curious how much... I'm curious how much uh, damage my pet's doing. About 24 per hit.
All right. I'm gonna. I asked the Ulysses to give me some drink. Hopefully, he's already summoned it while he was waiting for me. And yep, that is the case. Ten is plenty. Oh, and food. Wow, he's spoiling me now. All right. Our man is good, even if his is not. So what we're gonna do is. Is that and we're gonna mess we're gonna try to mess the pet if we can target it there we go Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I mean, this kit might be too easy for us, actually. The most powerful duo in the game. I think after this, we'll just kill the pet. And voila. XP is a bit slow. Maybe we'll move on to like Crushbone or something, do some Legionnaires, or, you know, like get a Slaver's pet and uh, kill Legionnaires with the Cleric's Heels. Let's see how many people are in Crushbone. Only three. So we'll talk about it. Voila. That's what I call efficiency, my friends. Alright, we got 100 mana, too. That pet was at the perfect point. He had like 10% HP left. Now let's go pick up this pop. Looks like it'll be a nice rotation. Should be dinging pretty soon. I like how we were able to use hide to break the pet charm. Very nice. Let's go to Discord. Let's see if uh, I'm gonna hop in the Quorum voice channel. See if Wolfdar wants to join. And I'm gonna pause it for now. Hey, one of my favorite duos right here. Maybe my favorite duo. Yeah, I was thinking maybe we need to head to Crushbone or something. We could charm a slaver and we could kill Legionnaires, I think. Just keep the slaver alive and voila. Yeah, sounds like it'd be much better XP. I'm sure you're getting decent XP at level 10, though. What are you getting, like, 2% of kill? Uh, I guess I didn't really look yet. I'm getting, like, 1 per kill. 
Uh, hit level 11 or four. Got here. You oh, you did hit 11. Nice. Well, when the first one popped, I thought we'd be getting more pops pretty quick, but I guess you had downtime between to meta, probably. Yep. I'm gonna make this smaller. You guys have seen how the buff bar works, or how my spell tracker works. But I still want it to be visible. There we go. My window is super crowded. I apologize, you guys, but... Yeah, that's the way I like it, I guess. So maybe I don't need this guild chat box. Let's get rid of that. Oh, accidentally moving my buff bar. There we go. There we go. That's a bit better. Yeah, maybe, uh, I guess, one more rotation and then go. I'm tempted to go now. Yeah, we can if you want to. Alright, let me get some distance and break the charm on this guy. Alright, I'm going to hit hide. <laughs> My Tash already wore off. <laughs> well, that's very long, is it? All right. That seems way too fast. Alright, you guys. So we're off to Crushbone. And I'll pick up from there. I'm going to pause for now. Alright. Getting ready to go into Crushbone. Here we are at the Orc Lift. And I'm going to bind Ulysses here. I'm going to bind myself. Probably at the zone line to Crushbone. No reason for me to bind here. Although I could. I could. All right, here comes the vine. And we are off to crush bone. Alright, we have arrived. Time for me to bind myself. That'll put me pretty much out of mana, which will give me a nice med break while I go and go to the bathroom. Because I am a human being, and I have bodily needs, which uh, demand constant maintenance and attention. Ah, ha, ha. I gotta go AFK and take a piss real quick. I'll run in with you, though. Get to uh oh second breakfast that corpse I was just grouping with them in unrest a minute ago. Not with the corpse the the player I mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right I'm gonna sit up here I'll be right back. Thank you.
All right, I am back. Still not full mana, but probably good enough, I guess. Well, I'm only about half. You mind if I re redo my buffs and then take a quick smoke break till I'm full? Go for it. Watch out behind you. I thought because you were sitting, he would aggro. I'm only threatening to lose guys. Huh. Shady ass humans. <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back.
All right, I see you zoned. You get in trouble? Yeah, I'm all right. I killed the trainer. Holy crap, dude. You're a beast. I forgot about he the ran. trainer. He ran up there and I killed another one, but I still got him down. Very nice. I really think clerics are kind of underrated as soloers. They can solo like whites, undead, and stuff, you know. Even the living nukes are good. Yeah, he was yellow. Holy crap. You are a beast. Yeah, well, I'm wearing that quest arm. Anyway. Did you see if he had the shield? Or maybe you have a better shield on this guy anyway. I, I looted him. He didn't have none. I was killing him on the paladin. And, uh, I got a clarity, and uh, I was killing him on the paladin for about 30 minutes. Nice. I think I found your ad. I'm finishing them off, maybe leveling up my defense, I hope. Too bad we don't have Breeze yet. And my dwarf can't do that. I cleared both those steps in one jump. <laughs> Alright guys, so here we are in Crushbone. I was AFK for a minute doing some bio stuff and Ulysses here, level 11 cleric, soloed the trainer while I was gone. Pretty epic. Yeah, uh, Breeze would be nice. It'd be so nice. I'm kind of surprised that uh, Secrets didn't put it in. It kind of seems like the type of thing she would throw in the game. I mean, we got those reses, right? The lower level cleric reses. So well, we I guess the mana stone, that's probably good enough, I guess. Yeah, that's true. So we're thinking we're going to go grab a slaver, because I think I can comfortably charm a slaver. And then we'll try to kill some legionnaires, which are red. Should crank out XP pretty nice. We're going to ding in a second here, which will help us hold charm. But you, but you don't have any re uh, regen, really, at the low level. Yeah, that's the thing. Even the stone is, like, level 30, right? I mean, unless you give it to a twink. And I don't think Secrets was you know, aiming to only help twinks. But I know she, I know it must have crossed uh, their mind to uh, you know throw in Breeze, and they decided not to. I'm kind of wondering what the thought process was there. I've got one that's not no drop. I do too on Sendruth. That's what I, I yeah. But you can get it, you know. All you got to do is. Like, before you kill your faction, you just walk the dude down there and you kill him somebody else. Yeah, that's true. Is that a... Do you have to be level 30 to loot it, though? Or is it 20? I don't know. I, I, didn't, I never did try it yet, so I don't know. I think it's one of those items you got to have level 30 to, to even pick up. Oh, okay. <clears throat> It could be 20, though, because that's an easier mob than, say, like the, the Avatar of Fear mob for the Breastplate. Yeah, because a group of 20s could probably go down there and do that. Yeah, right. Mid-20s.
maybe we can go get started and uh, you should have more med time while we do the first kill. What's your mana at now? I'm about 80 something. Oh, you're good. I was thinking the uh, the slaver that's alone in the house. Start with him. I was hoping you could con him so I can get an idea of his exact level. Yeah, sure. But also, there's a spawn right here on the left that tends to be a higher level. Maybe I'll root just to make sure. Got one. Yeah, they're just barely like blue. Yeah, I figured. I had a feeling he was coming. So I'm just choking and rooting these guys. Pretty good DPS. You see all the ticks. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Six ticks of 12. I think it was seven by the end. All right, let me pull this guy out. He's green. Oh, yeah, he's way too low. He's a uh, light blue to me. Oh, we can do, we can do better not, than that. I did not. No problem. Yeah, yeah, he's a light blue. He's rooted if you want to back up to nuke. I'm not team point nuke. <laughs> Maybe just let him choke. I got him choking out. Yeah, let's beat him down. Alright. Gonna need another little mid sesh in that empty room near those two slavers. What are these guys calling? I can sue them. One arm's left. The right, the right or the left? The right, and this guy right here, he's, he's But the right one at the door, the uh, left door. All right, there we go. All right, grab one of these guys and I guess head on up to that little campfire place and see what's going on over there. Go through the camp and then I think a great place to kill Legionnaires is just past the camp, you know, like that little, you know what I'm talking about, that little area. It's got a lot of Legionnaire spawns between the castle and here. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Gonna pause it until we're ready to get started. All right, so unfortunately, I underestimated the level of these slavers because they're light blue to me, but we're still gonna start with them because I don't think I can hold a uh, legionnaire yet, but we're about to ding. When we ding, then I'll get a legionnaire. I think uh, I'm gonna ding in a second. I'm at 94% in, so when I ding, then maybe we'll try to grab a legionnaire pet. And even if he's tough to hold, we got a cleric, so. That'd be you. Oh, 
Oh, I got a slave on me too. Wonderful. Yeah. You got two of them. Not this again. <laughs> well, at least they won't run, I don't think. Pet's almost dead. Oh, this one's dark blue. I should have made him my pet. Maybe we should switch. <laughs> I told you the one on her Seriously. up was even con. Oh, I, I thought I conned him. It's even con to me. Don't kill that one. We'll make that one the pet. Okay, here, I'm going to break charm. Yeah, I heard you, but I thought I conned both of them. I must have not targeted the other one when I thought I conned it. Yeah. All right, perfect. That's just hard, hard, hard to target. It is. Did you hear the trick that I uh, picked up? Someone told me you got to click the head, and it really does work. Wow, he resists my root, light blue. All right, I'm low mana, I'm at 14. So let me met up just in case, because this could be a little, little rocky. I'm probably gonna have to sue their lol too. Okay, guys, we're gonna pause. This video's getting a little long. I'm gonna do a med break, yeah, and then roll. we're gonna use this Slayer to uh, hopefully get some work done. All right, we're almost. We're almost ready to go. Ulysses is checking out the uh, the camp we're going to hit up while I'm metting up here. He's going to help me pick up some lulling on the lower level mobs that would aggro him. And I will uh, lull the higher level ones. So I guess I'll have to lull one of them. I've been using Soothe. I wonder if I could get away with a lull and save some mana. It's about the aggro radius. It's different aggro radiuses. Also different duration times. I think I'm just going to stick with Soothe. We'll be fine. I wanted a tent, but not even aggro. I mean, if the both of them are in the tent. Well, I'd rather just cast one Soothe than end up having to cast a two or three Mezes. <laughs> okay. These freaking slaves. Maybe I should throw on an illusion. <laughs> That's what they're for, isn't it? Yeah. Let's be a high elf. Alright, first soothe successful on the legionnaire. We're going to come up here. There we go. I'm tempted to use a choke, but it looks like we're going to have no problems taking him down. I'm just going to save for a nuke when he's ready to run. Wow. This is we're rocking it. You're pretty beefy for a cleric. <laughs> Let's see. 94%, what does that go up to? 
we're going to nuke right when we see him getting close to 20% to reduce his run time. Okay, now is the time. Boom. Very nicely done. Yeah, I'm going to try to nuke them if I have the mana when they're just about to hit 20%. So that way they don't run far. Next one. We got 2% on that kill. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, wow, he resisted my choke. So as long as Ulysses is tanking, he's never going to have to heal my pet. That's good, I guess. Cruising. Let's just kill the spawn, so maybe something else will spawn there next time. Okay, hold on. Thermatish. Very nice. Okay, let's come over here. Last one over here. This is how it's done, boys. This is the famous uh, cleric enchanter duo. I'm going to root him for you. Oh, I guess he resisted. I'm going to be out of mana after this charm. Okay. Thank you. Got a little close here. Maybe pull back, see if he doesn't stay on you. Let the pet finish. Oh, nice. Perfect. Let's see if we ding on this one, boys. It's very possible. Ding! Level 15. Level 15, baby. give myself some room with this guy away. Alright, time to met up and get back to it. I think there's a couple more spawns we didn't even hit up yet, but I don't know how fast the respawn is. Uh, let me see what my pet cons to me now. It's still blue. Pet's still blue, that's good. Alright guys, we're back at it. Respawns are fast. The, the camp over here is already respawning. Pretty crazy. But good for us, I guess.
Tash just wore off the pet, so he could be breaking any time now. But we are a level higher as well, so. about these guys over here got a green centurion and a I'm gonna lull the centurion I don't think I need to if I pull we might get two let's jump down here to be safe with pathing pet break It's a little dicey. This Tash wears off so fast. And then when Tash wears off, you can be pretty sure Charm's gonna break soon after. Kinda throw a choke in there, help with the DPS. I think Ulysses is getting a bit low on mana. only 1% per kill now, but still not bad. We should try to pick up the pace. by the campfire just killing a green spawn. Try to have a little cheat that does work today. What's that? I just log on my good and I can just take something down to no health and leave it snared sitting there and log back on and kill it with another character and get the XP. Yeah, I heard of that. <laughs> I didn't know if it was. Hopefully nobody important is watching this video. <laughs> Just killed Night Legionnaire. 
but I forgot to unpause it. But you know, not much to see. It's just a, it's just gonna be a grind like this for a while, guys. I think I am gonna pause it, and then if if things get dicey, hopefully I can remember to flip it back on, kind of like that. Kids with their various wandering desires. Snacks and pad. Everyone's talking. This is Chinese New Year's Eve. After they eat dinner, they play mahjong, gamble, watch TV, talk, smoke. Stuff like that. Mana's good right now. Wow, oh, these are all green to me. Pretty much the throne room is the only thing that's worth anything right now. That would be crazy. I guess unrest would have been the play for us then. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be crazy too. All right, you guys, we're gonna pause. We are gonna cruise over here and go check out the castle entrance because usually we got some. Yeah, see, there's like a there's a legionnaire right there. But if here's a legionnaire, but I think we're gonna need to sue them to walk by. We don't want to aggro him because he'll aggro everything else. I'm gonna use lol, save some mana. Oh, never mind, he's on the move. Alright, let's go. Oh, wait, hold on. This Tash just wore off. I'd rather take care of it now. You have a stun? Yeah, I got it up. Okay, when you see him run and hit him with that. Very nice, didn't even have to miss. I'm still worried if that Legionnaire comes running by again, we might pick him up. Let's try to get over to this nook here. Green and green, green and green. Looks like someone else is here too. All right, we're going to have a Legionnaire. All right, you guys. Doing some heavy enchanter work over here. Uh oh.
Got an oracle now, a caster. I think he might have dotted the pet. Yep, the pet's going down. Watch your health. Pet's so low, I'm tempted to just kill him. Tash is about to wear off anyway. Pretty cool, right? I'm gonna pause it for now. Alright, you guys, we're gonna up the ante here. We're gonna try to con this Legionnaire and see if we can't speed it up a little bit. It's gonna be a little harder to hold the charm, but I think we're ready for it. Um, Ulysses conned him. Ulysses is level 7 and it cons yellow, so he's gotta be high as he can be is 13. He could be 12. So let's see how we do. So far, so good. Can't wait till I get a new Tash that just lasts a bit longer. I don't even care if it's much stronger. Alright, we got a Legionnaire spawn right here. Ready to go. going. That's quite a bit faster killing right there. Getting ready to nuke when he's around 20% so he doesn't get to run very far. Boom. Next. Camps all lobies. Let's go hit up those slavers. They're aggroed. Oh, they are? Yeah, on me. Bring it back the big guns. We need these belts to catch some other guys up. True that. True that. <laughs> Man, 
we got one. All right, now we do the slavers. Oh, he's a low con. Low level slaver. Charms hold him pretty nice so far. This one's green to me now. I wonder if we should try taking him into the castle. What do you yeah, think about that? that? That that might be the play. Just gotta be careful. All right, let's bring him over there, and then I'll recharm him. Just like the entryway that goes into the to the big boy, you know what I mean? I'm ready to nuke him when he starts to run. But if the pet gets on him, I won't need to, I don't think. Yeah, he's running that way. Another belt, jeez. Uh-oh, emissary on me. I just like you. That's for sure. They just like my sitting. How's mana? 
safety. Rooted. Now I'm rooted. We must have got a caster. Where is it? Around the corner. Missed him, missed him. Aye. Got him again. Come on, Legionnaire, get some work done. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna have to recharm before we go in there again. Pet can't wake mist. That's crazy. At least we're getting lots of belts. Back off, see if the pet can tank, and then maybe we'll kill the pet. I'm ready. You're gonna die. Oh no. I don't think I can save you, I'm trying. Oh my goodness gracious. I got over for 10 seconds. You better get out of range of my Legionnaire in case it breaks. Get away from the bridge. He'll run across the bridge. Oh, you're good now. Ooh, I'm completely out of mana. And we got like no XP from that crazy <laughs> fest right there. I'm gonna pause guys. Alright guys, we're gonna call this video here. But we're gonna try again and next time we're gonna pick up a legionnaire. And we're gonna go inside of the castle. In the entrance there there's a few high level mobs. Not to mention there's some running around the outside too. It's gonna be intense but it should be pretty fun. XP hasn't been that great. Oh, my game just crashed. Don't know why. Don't know why, <laughs> but down it goes. So XP shouldn't be too, which should be much better than it was there. It wasn't that great today, but it wasn't so bad. You know, problem was too many low, too many low level mobs, really. Um, maybe after we get, after we try this, if we continue with this duo, we'll head to uh, unrest. I think that's the play. Take the cleric enchanter to unrest start with some yard trash now that i'm 15 i think i can uh charm and like one of the tormented undead and but you know the best thing for us to do probably when we go to unrest is just hop in a group together so but yeah looking forward to it having some fun i'll uh, see you guys in the next video